up next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. All right, so here he is, one of, if not the greatest, to ever put on a pair of four-ounce gloves. John Bones Jones. Daniel, this is the only man who has ever solved your game in a mixed martial arts setting. Johnny Bones back for more tonight. For me, I understand how special Jones is is because he is the guy that's been able to beat me twice. But when you go down and you look at the resume, you start with Shogun Hua, then you have the Rashad Evans and the Rampage Jacksons, and then you have myself, Alexander Gustafsons. It is a list of Hall of Famers that not many people can match when they say match your resume against mine. John Jones is a special talent, and he has shown that every time he has fought the very best the UFC has to offer. You put it well. In terms of the strength of schedule, I think he has the best resume of any UFC champion of all time. And, of course, as he makes the walk here tonight, he puts that status on the line yet again. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Jones is three years his senior. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, holding a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the former UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! And now with the first opponent, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Dominic the Devastator Reyes! And when the action begins, a referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? Started here, round one is underway, and we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, high-level mixed martial arts there as he works for the takedown after catching the leg. Now let's see if he can inflict some damage here on the ground. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. We'll finish the fight. Left hand punch to Clint. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Under his opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Katie Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he landed that overhand right, he hurt people bad. And this guy has his opponent very badly again. Nice punch.
punch lands over the top. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, suddenly, he'll change his stance. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Slips and rips. Oh, single collar tie here. Big kick land. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got a record. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, five minutes down. Here we go with the start of round two. Dominic Reyes and John Jones. Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Ooh, big shot land. Slips the punch. Ooh, blocks the shot. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice stick with the right hand. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. 34 total strikes have found the mark for Dominic Reyes. Well, it's still connecting on a pretty good clip, DC. 45 per great action. Get to that takedown. Jones' lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. We'll keep an eye on that. But a lot of damage absorbed by me in here tonight. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so they can land that beautiful left hand. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensively. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. He's having his way with him here. All right, feet on the hips here. Trying to recover from the guard there. to the feet now. Able to check that kick as well. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. 
Nice stick with the right hand. 15 seconds to go. Oh, call the tie. 10 minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work, but he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the $50,000. <laughs> they laid it all on the line. They dropped the quarters in the middle of the octagon, <laughs> and they said, let's go. What a round. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. A complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Nice stick with his right hand. Jones gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Oh. <laughs> stuffs the takedown, no problem. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh. And this might just be a matter of time. Submission defense there. All right, full guard now, DC. The fighter on top needs to be trying to gain posture to throw ground and pound and then move to the next position. But if you're on the bottom, you've got to build a shield. Try to push your opponent off to try to get back to your feet. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Jones's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from bottom. Nice stick with the right hand. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Jones. Useful strike there. The ground and pound on point tonight. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to, to hold, hold him. him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Jones gets caught with that punch. decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 30-27. The winner by unanimous decision, Dominic the Devastator Red. All right, so there he is. The celebration is on. He tried to leave the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you've got to feel good about that. You've got to feel good about dominating every aspect of a fight and getting a victory. He should be very proud of his performance tonight.